What's up, guys? Um, Dreadle here. Real quick tutorial on how to bounce stems off of Fruity Loops. Um, this is goes for any Fruity Loops version. Um, I know they have like 12 and 12.3 and all this other stuff. I'm using 11. It doesn't matter which one you're using. It's all the same. Um, uh, before we start, if you guys need any production or uh, any mixing and mastering, then visit my website, spinthedreidel, D-R-A-Y-D-E-L.com. Um, and it's at Dreidel on all social media. So let's jump into it. I'm um, doing a remix for the Bodak Yellow record. Um... Cool. Um, I'm going to post it afterwards, so if you want to listen to it all, you can check it out. But um, first things first, make sure all your sounds are linked to the mixer window. Um, you can do this very quickly by clicking on whatever sound that you want. Let's say uh, yeah, this one, you want to link it, it's control L, you hit control L, boom, it links it. You're going to do another one, control L, boom, links it. Cool. So um, after you've done that, then go through, you want to make sure they're all linked. You can do this in a real quick way. I'll show you a shortcut. Turn them all off um, and then hit play, go through everything. And if you don't hear any sounds, then that means they're all linked. So, for example, if something is not linked, like this is on 17, if I take it off the mixer, press play, make sure everything is still off. I go through it. Oh, you can hear it. So that's how you would know that that's not linked. So let's put it back to 17. And then um, that's basically it. Um, one more thing. Make sure they're all back on now. One more thing before you send it out, you want to make sure that all your processing is off except for um, any modulations like um, distortions, if you have an amplifier on it, um, any panning or stutter effects, something that you put on the sound to make the sound sound exactly how you want it um, for that reason, minus uh, EQs, compressions, delays, reverb, stuff like that, um, then take them all off. So, uh, which, so like for this, for example, this one, boom, I would take the EQ off, the compressor off, but I'd leave the pan on because I have it panning back and forth. I want, I'd want that. Um, just turn both those off. That doesn't have anything. Turn that off. Leave the picture. You know, you just go through everything. Make sure they're all turned on. And after that, um, you would go over here, export, wave file, go to desktop or wherever you want to bounce it to. I already made a folder name yellow. Hit save. Uh, split mixer tracks, make sure this is selected. That's very, very key. 32-bit uh, float, wave, leave the remainder, high cue for all plugins, and boom, you hit start, and you're lit. So um, basically after that, you would go to your folder, and then all these, you would zip this folder on your desktop or wherever to uh, send it to the person that you want to collab with or the engineer that are, is going to mix the record or you know the record label for the placement whatever you have you that's what you'd send it to um, and also if you're sending it to an engineer for them to mix uh, such as myself or another engineer then you would want to bounce a reference file of the whole track the way that you had it sounding before you muted everything before you turned it everything off and soloed everything the way that you have it sounding with the reverbs and the delays and all that stuff bounce that reference send it to them so they have something to go off of um to kind of get the style that you're looking for um and anything other than that you are you're good to go so um yeah if you guys have any questions then uh please leave a comment below um check out my website spin the dreidel d-r-a-y-d-e-l dot com uh, again it's at dreidel on all social media if you have any questions you know please feel free to ask them you know? um so that's about it i'm also going to make another video um about um, Ableton and Pro Tools and how to basically go from one DAW to another um with ease and uh, if you guys want to check out this record, I'm, I'm, I'm going to post it again. I know I already said that, but um, check it out. And um, I'll see you on the flip side. Peace.